Hey guys, it's Amanda. I know many days ago I said I was going to do a shoe haul in a few days and uh, it's been clearly more than a few days but finally got some time where I could sit down and show you the large quantity of shoes that I've purchased within like the last month. Um, I don't even know where to begin. But I have four pair of shoes, two of them are, or three of them are sports shoes and one of them is dressy. Um, so let's get started. So the first pair I'm showing you are by Iron Fist, and these are called the Manslayer Wedge. Not mine on eBay, but you can get them on um, on the Iron Fist website or on Amazon. They make this style in both a wedge and in a pump. Um, but I like the wedge because the wedge is very easy to walk in, very comfortable. It's got like a four four to five inch wedge but it's very gradual because there's a platform in the front so um, super comfy has a synthetic leather upper and if you look close you can see well you may not be able to see but there are um, basically like embossed in it there are um, like day of the dead skulls and then there's these really nice studs that go along the kind of the lines of the shoe um, I paid I want to say about $50 for these on eBay. I think on most sites they're around $55, between $50 and $60. Um, and on the inside it has that really nice red leather with all of these hearts. And there was a really cool skull on the bottom, but I've worn them so it wore off. These do run a little bit big in size, so um, keep that in mind. But since there's a wedge, your foot slides forward anyway, so it's usually uh, better to go big than go small. So the next pair are a little more casual. These are the Dwayne Peter by Dravens. Sneakers. Um, Dwayne Peters, if you don't know, he's he's 50 years old now. He's been a skater since the 70s, a professional skateboarder. Um, and he's kind of known as the one who brought punk music to the skateboarding scene. He's also, he's been in several bands. He's in U.S. Bombs. Um, and he's just a pretty awesome dude. So he had for a while his own signature line for Dra uh, the company Dravens. And they all pretty much looked like this, but just in different colors. So um, these guys, they don't make them anymore, but you can still find them on a lot of sites like eBay or Amazon or I wrote some down on um, interpunk.com. Um, they still have a pretty good selection, but there's, you know, you kind of have to Google to find your size and the color you want. Why I like these guys is they remind me of the Adidas Shelto, Converse, and K-Swiss all in one. Um, they're comfortable. They have a wider toe box than Converse, so if your pinky toe normally gets cut off in the Converse, you'll probably like these. Um, and they're just, they're really affordable. You can find them anywhere from $20 to $50, just depending on um, how hard to find your sizes. Um, I wear a women's five and a half. These are a four and they fit perfect. Um, I also have another style of these. I have the high top as well in the all black. And um, they're just a really good, durable, comfortable, everyday shoe. The next style is from Nike. This is the Nike Trainer 2. Um, version 2. And this is one of those like super flexible shoes that's designed to mimic being barefoot. Um, now this is the cross trainer. So this one I would recommend if you are going to be in the gym, lifting weights, um, but not really doing so much running because this is not a running shoe. It's not designed for running. Um, but it is great for squats or anything where you're doing lateral movement or just all around gym work. Um, you can tell mine are dirty because I've worn them a lot, but it has just this really flexible multi-directional outsole so it's going to give you good flexibility for those side to side movements um, and it has a little bit of a more durable material in the toe and the heel um, it's a no sew upper so basically that just means it's going to be really comfortable on your foot with not a lot of seams or overlays um, and these run pretty true to size and this color if you're wondering is the hot punch color um, it's very bright very vivid and this guy cost $90. And my last shoe, also part of the Nike Free series, 
is the Nike Free Run version 3. This is also that same hot punch color, but you can see they're a little bit different from the cross trainer to the running version. Now what makes a running shoe different than a cross trainer is the running shoe is built higher in the heel than it is in the forefoot. This is designed for forward backward movements, not lateral movements. So you can use it for, you know, if you're doing a little bit of like a boot camp or you're doing some side to side movement, but you're also running, this will work. But if you're doing mostly lateral, you're going to want to get that cross trainer. Um, this shoe, though a running shoe, is designed to be more of a supplemental shoe. So it's not for all of your miles. You don't want to run long miles in this unless your feet are used to it because there's no cushioning and there's no support. This EVA foam is going to give you a feel of um, cushioning, but it's not really a true cushioning system. Um, it is super comfortable though. So I use this shoe basically like for my everyday shoe at work. I work at a running shop, so we, we wear running shoes all the time. Um, or I use it if I'm just like you know, doing a little bit of a, a little bit of running. Um, this new version, the version three, has this, what's it called? Do, 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 do. Oh, dynamic fit. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's these little, um, this little orange fingers in here. Those are attached to where the laces pull. Um, and it's basically designed to give you a customized fit. So it's really snug in the midfoot but it has a roomier toe box so your foot can really splay. Um, these run a little bit shorter than the cross trainers do or you know maybe your regular shoe so you might want to size up half a size on these um, but again it has that really minimal upper um, really no overlay so it's just a super comfy fit and these cost a hundred dollars. Well that's the end of my shoe haul. I get new shoes all the time so I'll try to remember to do shoe hauls when I um, when I get the shoes, especially working at a running store, I get so many running shoes, it's just kind of, it's kind of overwhelming. But these four shoes are shoes that I'm actively using and I really like them all. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I hope you like this video, it's a little bit different than my subscription boxes. But if you like those, I do have um, a bunch coming. So maybe in the next week or two, I'll have some more of those videos. Hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you later, bye.